not a Pentax uh, uh, super lens, no. Uh, just using that for my lens cap. This is what we have here is a uh, uh, Ultrastar cinematic attachment. This is an Ultrastar cinematic attachment. It is very heavy, uh, it is very large. Uh, it is indeed an anamorphic lens. Uh, it is a little bit different in what capacity, I'm not sure how, but from what I've read, the little that's out there that I can find, it is different than your other uh, ISCO uh, anamorphic lenses. It's much bigger. I'm not sure what the optical quality is. It's uh, Hopefully it is uh, every bit as sharp as the other ones, the red ones and the other gold ones, uh, but I've not yet tested those. If anybody out there knows if there is a difference between optically these ones and the other ones, then I would like to hear back. Now the reason I'm talking about this lens, I got this on eBay for very cheap. It was only about 100 and 40 bucks um, it was sold as a broken lens mostly because of the uh, the problem that this lens is having is that the end the anamorphic axes in this lens are not lining up anamorphic goes uh, top to bottom left to right and the back element here in the back has become uh, it's off its axis very slightly and it causes your anamorphic uh, lens you can't get a perfect sharp focus uh, with your, either your taking lens or your anamorphic lens and everything has a kind of this diagonal uh, twist to it um, when when that back or the front is off uh, off its axis so the idea is uh, we're gonna open this up I've never opened one of these I've opened some other lenses we're gonna open some of these this lens up we're gonna take it apart and I'm gonna try to advance this back uh, element about a 32nd of an inch either forward or backward depending on which way we have to go. Uh, the other problem with this lens is having although the focus is a, a buttery smooth focus here um, uh, there's ball bearings in this focus ring and they were missing so um, if we take this off at least there's no aperture though right uh, this just comes off and there's nothing really holding it down so uh, the ball bearings uh, were positioned in here and they kind of would hold it in place um, but that's okay it, it is uh, the focus still functions properly when you get it moved up when you get it put on here and uh, it does move the helicoil around here's what here's what this looks like it's very smooth the focus is a long focus throw um, but this is the this is that front element here this is that front element you can see the distortion that the anamorphic lenses create uh, this is just that front big heavy element. Uh, this Pentax lens cap, this goes on the Pentax uh, 300 millimeter prime lens. Uh, the filter thread for that one is uh, 77 I believe and then there's a lens hood and then this goes on over the top of it so I'm imagining that the filter thread for this is probably about 80 even though there's no threads on it. That's about the size you would need for the uh, um, for this lens. I think the other ISCO anamorphic attachments are a little bit smaller than that uh, but this one is the cinema the, the CinemaScope attachment, which is a little bit bigger. Um, so the idea is take this back element out, rotate it slightly, and then plug it back in, and hopefully everything will be uh, good. All right, first thing you want to do is uh, unscrew these couple little screws on the outside of this um, part of the lens, and uh, don't unscrew them all the way. Just loosen them enough so you can uh, take this little collar off. Uh, that exposes the helicoil here, and there are several small... Allen wrench uh, type screws that you can use to uh, loosen and adjust uh, the access of the anamorphic uh, back lens. So using an Allen wrench you can uh, loosen these. Don't unscrew them all the way, just loosen them. I screwed on the front element so that I can kind of see as I put it on my camera I can kind of tell uh, if it's going to be lined up or not and once you get these loosened you can kind of see how this spins looks like it's designed to be able to be adjusted so uh, it was a little back and forth trying to figure out how and where to adjust it and how far to adjust it so I put it on my camera and uh, just aimed it at something and I uh, messed with the adjustment and then once I got it once it got dialed in then I went back uh, held it in place and I screwed down the little allen wrenches now this did this did take several times to get right but I finally got it to enough where I could sharp it I could have sharp focus and uh, everything wasn't all blurry and um, it worked out and uh, the diagonal shape of the blur was not happening any longer 
This is my taking lens. This is a uh, um, Jupiter 9 uh, 85mm f2. Then I just put everything back together, screw everything back in, tighten it down, and uh, put the front element back on, and um, it worked out pretty nice. So here's some sample footage uh, with the newly aligned anamorphic attachment. Uh, my taking lens is a Ju either a Jupiter or a Helios and I'm shooting on a Sony a6500. Towards the end of the footage I throw on an SLR magic diopter and that is what creates all of the anamorphic blue flares that you see.